Ayuha al-Ikhwa, on this, the morning of Eid, the day of the celebration of the Muslimin, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated for the Muslimun that after two great acts of ibadah, after two great acts of worship, that those acts of worship are sealed with two days of celebration. After the completion of one of the pillars of Islam, As-Siyam, the fast during the month of Ramadan, Allah Azza wa Jal has legislated that the period is sealed with celebration. And that is that which occurs today on the Eid Al-Fitr, on the day of Eid Al-Fitr, when the Muslimun they gather, and when the Muslimun they make the takbir of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha inna Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alhamd, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha inna Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alhamd, praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just as Allah subhanahu has commanded them. وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ Allah Azza wa Jal has mentioned after the affair of him legislating As-Siyam. Allah Azza wa Jal mentions after the ayah wherein Allah Azza wa Jal mentions the month of Ramadan, the month wherein Allah Azza wa Jal has legislated Siyam. شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ الَّذِي أُنزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنَ هُدًا لِلنَّاسِ وَبَيِّنَاتٍ مِّنَ الْهُدَى وَالْفُرْقَانِ فَمَنْ شَهِدَ مِنْكُمُ الشَّهْرَ فَلْيَصُمْ وَمَنْ كَانَ مَرِيضًا أَوْ أَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِنْ مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرٍ يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُوسَرَ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُوسَرَ وَلِتُكْمِلُوا الْعِدَّةَ وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned the month of Ramadan wherein Allah Azza wa Jal has legislated the or had revealed the Quran as a guidance for the people and a clarification of the guidance and the criterion to whomsoever from among you witnesses the month, then let him fast. And whomsoever is ill or upon a journey, then let them fast a number of other days. And then Allah Azza wa Jal mentions, highlighting the fact that this is from the ease of the religion. Just as Allah Azza wa Jal has permitted you to break your fast if you are ill, or to break your fast if you are upon a journey due to the difficulty that is present within it. And Allah Azza wa Jal has not legislated a deen that has in it usr or has in it hardship. Rather, the deen has in it ease. And thus Allah has legislated this ease. Then Allah Azza wa Jal makes ta'keed of that affair and affirms it. Yuridu Allah bikum al yusr wa la yuridu bikum al usr. Allah wants ease for you and He does not want hardship for you. And he wants for you to complete the period and for you to make the takbir of Allah Azza wa Jal upon that which he has guided you to. And that is what we do on the day of Eid. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alhamd. That is what takes place on this day. A day of celebration, ayuha al-ikhwah. It is a day of celebration that Allah Azza wa Jal has allowed us to complete this hat, this um, this uh, siyam, this fasting. It is a day of celebration in that Allah Azza wa Jal has allowed us to reach Ramadan. It is a day of celebration in that Allah Azza wa Jal has permitted us to see this period and this mausim of khair, this period of barakah, this period of good. Many ayuha al-ikhwa from those who we know and from our beloved were here last Ramadan and we're not present upon this Ramadan. We're not able to see this Ramadan. And so this ayyuh al no doubt is something that we give thanks to Allah Azza wa Jal for. That he's allowed us to see another one. That he has allowed us to see the month of Rahmah, the month of mercy, the month of Ghufran al-Dunub, the month wherein sins are forgiven, the month wherein the Quran was revealed. The month wherein Allah Azza wa Jal every night in Ramadan, there are utaqam in nar individuals who are freed from the hellfire. The month, ayyuha al-ikhwa, wherein Allah Azza wa Jal chains the shayateen. The month wherein the doors of Jannah are opened and the doors of the hellfire are closed. The month, ayyuha al-ikhwa, that has in it a night 
that is better than a thousand months. The night, ayuhal ikhwa, where Jibreel himself comes down. Jibreel is on earth on that night. In this month, in Ramadan. And there are more angels on earth than there are stones. Ayuhal ikhwa, the month of khair and the month of barak. Abshir, ayuhal muslimun. Give glad tidings. For indeed, you are from those who establish this pillar from the pillars of Islam. And you are from those who establish this sha'ira from the sha'ir of the deen. You are from those who knew that this was the month of the Quran, so you recited it. You are from those who knew that this was the month of Qiyam and an increase in Salawat and praying, so you prayed. You were from among those who knew that this was a month of Sadaqah and so you gave in charity. Abshir, for indeed Allah Azza wa Jal has mentioned, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَتْلُونَ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ وَأَقَامُوا الصَّلَاةِ وَأَنْفَقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ سِرًّا وَعَلَانِيَ يَرْجُونَ تِجَارَةً لَنْ تَبُورُ لِيُوَفِّيَهُمْ أُجُورَهُمْ وَيَزِيدَهُمْ مِنْ فَضْلِ Allah Azza wa Jal mentions that indeed those who recite the book of Allah and they establish the salah and they give and they spend from what we have given to them they give that goodly loan. That loan that Allah Azza wa Jal has mentioned. Who will give to Allah a goodly loan? That is that loan that one gives. And it is referred to as a loan here. Because of the fact that it is something that you give that will return back to you. It is referred to as a loan here. But listen to the or think and reflect upon the one who is going to repay that loan to you and to reimburse you for that sincerity and for that sadaqah. Goodly loan, wallahi. Allah Azza wa Jal mentions indeed those who recite the Quran. And they establish the salah which you have done. And they give from what we have given to them. Sirran wa alaniya secretly and in public they seek for a trade that will never ever perish that their lord may reimburse them recompense them from his virtue this brothers and sisters is from the greatest of the virtues of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala abshir give glad tidings give glad tidings ayyuhal muslimun you knew that Allah Azza wa Jal has legislated in this month it'amu ta'am giving food so you fed wa yut'imuna at-ta'am ala hubbihi miskinan wa yatima wa yasira that indeed they give food and they feed Though they love that which they possess, they feed and they give to the miskeen and to the orphan and to the captive. What is their statement? Is their statement that we have given this to you and don't forget this virtue? Is their statement that we have given this to you that you may remember our virtue over you? What did Allah Azza wa Jal mention? إِنَّمَا نُطْعِمُكُمْ لِوَجْهِ اللَّهِ Verily we feed you for the face of Allah. لَا نُرِيدُ مِنْكُمْ جَزَاءً وَلَا شُكُورًا We do not want from you jaza. We don't want from you any reward, not from you. Or any thanks even. So if we give it, and he seems like an ingrat. He's clearly poor. We give. 
and he seems ungrateful for that we have give, that which we have given and so we're upset at the fact that he is ungrateful we need to check ikhwa, why we gave that fool we feed you for the face of Allah. We do not want from you reward. Neither do we want from you any thanks. Verily, the Muslimun, they knew that this month was a month of mujahadat in nafs, of striving against oneself, striving against one's soul and so they strove Allah has mentioned and strive in the way of Allah a true jihad he is the one that has chosen you and he has made no hardship in your deen. True striving. Those who strive in our way, Allah Azza wa has mentioned, subulana. We shall certainly guide them to our path. The path of khair. The path of khairat. So brothers and sisters, it is this that we celebrate today. Qul, fadlillahi wa bi rahmatihi, Say, with the virtue of Allah and His Fadl, with the mercy of Allah and His Fadl, then let them be thankful and celebrate this and be happy about this. It is better than everything that they gather. Thus we find that the Salaf of this Ummah, they used to say from them the likes of Abu Mansur, Ash-Shirazi, Laysa al-Eidu liman ghurifa lahu wa innama al-Eidu liman ghufira lahu. He said Eid is not for the one who ghurifa lahu, who has food ladled out for him. But Eid, is for the one who is forgiven. This Eid, ayyuhal ikhwa, is a period, no doubt, of khair. And this month that has just passed, it is a month, brothers and sisters, that we must ask ourselves some questions. How were we during the month? Were we from those who the month came about? And we only saw the month as a hindrance and a botheration something bothersome takes us away from where what we're acquainted with takes us away from our ordinary affairs or did we welcome the month were we excited when it was coming because we knew we needed it we knew that purification was necessary and did we say alhamdulillah Ramadan is here. Did we enjoy the period of fasting and then the period of, of iftar? Did we enjoy those gatherings and love the fact that Allah Azza wa Jal has blessed us the Muslimun with this khair? Or were we from those who were upset and felt nothing but pangs of hunger and thirst? Were we from those who utilized our time at night making qiyam, making dhikr, reciting the book of Allah Azza wa Jal, seeking the forgiveness of Allah Subhana? Or were we from those who spent our nights in qil wa qal, wasting our nights gossiping? Were we from those who spent our nights upon Netflix and PlayStation. How did we spend our time, Iqwan? Reflect upon it. Allah Azza wa Jal has allowed you to see the end of the month and know that after the month, ayyuhal ikhwah, there is another period of fasting 
in the following month. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Man sama Ramadan, thumma atba'ahu bi sitim min shawal, kana ka siyam al-dahar, whomsoever fast Ramadan, and then he follows that with six days of shawal, it is as though he has fasted the whole year. And many of the people of knowledge, they mention that when Ramadan is 30 days of fasting, and each righteous action is multiplied tenfold, that is equivalent to some 300 days. And if you add then six more days, the six days of shawal, and then multiply them tenfold, that is another 60 days, and that would equate to some 360 days, which is a year. And so do not lose out on this opportunity for khayr. Don't lose out on this opportunity to draw close to Allah Azza wa Jal and to further increase upon that which we have embarked upon in this month and that which we attain and that which we achieve. This Ramadan, ayyuhal ikhwah, is a month that the Salaf of this Ummah, they used to, at the end of Ramadan, they would come out and Eid. And they would say, Man hadha al maghfur fanuhanni wa man hadha al mahroom fanuazi. Who is there that has been forgiven that we may congratulate him? And who is there that has been prevented, yani prevented from forgiveness? prevented from this khair that we may console him. No doubt, brothers and sisters, the aqwal and the statements of the salaf of this ummah are many. But we wish to mention to you the statement of one of the salaf who is well known to many of you. Al-Imam ibn Rajab rahimahullahu ta'ala Al-Imam ibn Rajab rahimahullahu ta'ala he mentioned Laysa al-Eidu Liman labisa al-Jadid Wa innama al-Eidu He said Laysa al-Eid Liman labisa al-Jadid Wa innama al-Eidu liman ta'atuhu tazid He said Eid is not for the one that wears the new garment but Eid is for the one whose righteous actions have increased. He mentioned, لَيْسَ الْعِيدُ لِمَنْ تَجَمَّلَ بِالْلِبَاسِ وَالرُّكُوبِ وَإِنَّمَا الْعِيدُ لِمَنْ غُفِرَتْ لَهُ الدُّنُوبِ He said, Eid is not for the one who beautifies himself with clothing and with his riding beast. But Eid indeed is for the one whose sins are forgiven. He mentions Rahimullah. Fi Laylatil Eid. Tafarraqa Khalqul Atqi. Wal Maghfirati Ala Al Abid. Faman Nala Minha. Shayun. Falahu Eid. Wa illa Fahu Matrud Baid. He said, indeed, on the night of Eid, individuals depart, go back to their homes and what have you. Some of them freed from the fire. And some of the servants having their sins forgiven. And whomsoever obtains something from that, then certainly for him is Eid. And if he does not, if that is not the case, then he is repelled and he is distanced. Ayyuhal ikhwah, the self of this ummah, they would remind each other, particularly during the khutbah of Eid, as one of the khulafa, as one of the uh, imams, and one of the leaders of the Muslimin from among the Salaf, he came out and he gave a khutbah on the day of Eid. And in his khutbah he said, Ibadullah. He said, worshippers of Allah, 
عظم قدر الدارين وارتفع جزاء العاملين وطالت مدة الفريقين He said Worshippers of Allah Indeed the affair of the two final abodes is tremendous Referring to the Jannah and referring to the hellfire He said and indeed the reward of those who have acted those who have carried out their deeds the recompense is raised to Allah Azza wa Jal and is in his hands those actions that you carry out they have raised to Allah Azza wa Jal they have been completed they are done whether good or bad he mentions and indeed the period of the existence of the two parties is long. Bawallahi innahu lal jad lal He said by Allah the affair is one of jad. The affair is one of jid. It is one that is very serious. And the affair is not one of play. That which you hear week after week concerning Jannah and the Nar and preparing for it. It is an affair that is one of Jid. Serious Ikhwan. It is not one of play. And thus Allah Azza wa Jal has commanded فَلِذَلِكَ فَدْعُوا فَاسْتَقِمْ قَمَا أُمِرْتْ فَلِذَلِكَ فَدْعُوا then call to this فَاسْتَقِمْ كَمَا أُمِرْتْ and remain upright as you have been commanded remain upright as you have been commanded the affair ayyuhal ikhwa is one of jid it is a serious affair there is no game and no joke with this affair فَاسْتَقِمْ كَمَا أُمِرْتْ how have we been during Ramadan what is it that we have carried out? What are the attitudes that we have? Have we striven to abandon those evil actions that we are upon? Have we tried? Listen to the command of Allah. فَاسْتَقِمْ كَمَا أُمِرْتْ Be upright as you have been commanded. The affair is not a joke. This issue is not a game. Be upright of you, as you have been commanded. Leave alone the excuse. Too much excuses. Too much wasting of time. Fastakim kama umirt. Be upright as you have been commanded. Why play with the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal? Why play with the one chance that you have? Fastakim kama umirt. Be upright as you have been commanded. You know your days are short and numbered. Whoopin. Indeed, wallahi, the amr is an amr of jid. It is not an amr of joke, game and play, and ridicule of those who are trying, and ridicule of those who attempt to remain upon the path to the extent that we have names for them now. Haram, haram police. A name such as this foolishness and nincompoopery. Fastakim kama umirt. Be upright as you have been commanded. Don't play with the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't play with the ni'mah that Allah azza wa has given you. Remain upright as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded you. Simple sentence, a simple statement. Fastakim kama umirt. That was it. The message is Abdullah, tell me something that I cannot ask anyone but you. Call Aman to Billah, Dummastakim. Say, I believe in Allah upright. This is what Allah Azzawajal has commanded us. This is what the Messenger وسلم, has commanded us. A simple affair. Just by it. Fastakim kama umirt. 
Oh, you cannot do it now, except that you take a river loan. Oh, you can't do it now, except that you free mix. Oh, you can't do it now, except that you do X, Y, and Z. Him come out, umirt. Stop playing about. Stop playing with the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal. Stay upright as Allah Azza wa Jal has commanded you. If it was said to you that tonight you will die, will you not be upon uprightness? Will you not cling to the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal? If it was said tonight, all of this game and play that you have, will you remain upon it? Following this idiot on Twitter and that fool on TikTok, would you remain upon that? If tonight you are going to die, your body is going to be washed tonight. You upon this foolishness, would you? Then consider, ayyuha al-ikhwa, our time is short and we could die tonight. Fastaqim kama umir, for wallahi, just as he said, wallahi the affair is lal-jid, lal It is an affair of jid, of being upright and serious. It is not a joke. It is not a game. Mention rahimahullahu ta'ala, innahu lal Indeed, it is the haq. This is not a lie. This is the truth. The deen of Allah Azza wa Jal. And then the sunnah of the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And remaining upon the way of the salaf of this ummah. This is haq. Pure, unadulterated haq. You have it in front of you. It is not a game. And it is, it is not kedib. This is haq. Men jaz rahimahullah. Wa ma huwa illa al-mawt. Wal-bahd. Wal-hisab. Wal-fasl. Wal-sirat. Thumma al-iqab wa thawab. He said that indeed, there is nothing that remains other than death. Then the resurrection. Then the reckoning. Then the judgment, then the sirat over the hellfire, then iqab, punishment or reward. فَمَنْ نَجَى يَوْمَ إِذِنْ فَقَدْ فَاسِ Whomsoever is successful on that day, then indeed he is successful. He has achieved salvation. That is true success. وَمَنْ هَوَى يَوْمَئِذٍ فَقَدْ خَاب And whomsoever هَوَى And this statement هَوَى is a reference to falling. The one who is thrown into the hellfire will fall and he will fall fast. يَا ذُنْ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ Mentions الْخَيْرُ كله في الجنة والشر كله في النار. He said, خير all خير is in الجنة. خير إخوان is not here in the dunya. Yes, we have something of خير, but the real خير, the real حيوان, the real existence is in الجنة. And there is just a short period of patience before we reach that. Before we reach the Akhirah. And before the believers reach Jannah, we ask Allah to make us from its inhabitants. Then he mentions all the Nar. All evil is in the hellfire. That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. بما يحبه ويرضاه صلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين